Yoi Yami Dancers, Twilight Danmaku Dancers. Toho. What do you think Danmaku means? Uh, Danmaku is like their, like, Toho fights, when they, like, suit all the, like, pebbles at you. Okay, fucking weeaboo. Who asked? <laughs> You're already Get bullying me. <laughs> Get owned. It's because you wanted it so badly. You were begging that we play a Toho game. It's all your fault. <laughs> You're lying. You're like, please, please, can we play Toho, please? Honestly, I wish I did. It would have been funnier if you had. Like, this is unironically the only Toho game I've ever played. I already yet, beat you're like, the first talking scenario. About yeah. How awesome Toho is. I am not talking about how awesome Toho is, I'm only ever talking about the Toho girls. Big oh, difference. So. You're always talking about how it's your favorite one's birthday. <laughs> so. And like how you're gonna buy the Fumos. Look, just because I know off the top of my heart that Clown Piece's birthday is April 7th. Ew! <laughs> what does it mean, level up a charge sot? For activating the same side you have equipped the race. I love tutorials where you have to fucking read. Not just it's that, really but it's a like fucking reading comprehension test. And this is yeah. translated from like fucking some other unknown language. Yeah, I have we have no idea what country of origin this game came from, definitely. What does it want me to do? By activating the same saw I have equipped, you'll raise its level. Maybe you have to, like, equip it while it's equipped. I think I may have hit in a brick wall. What do I do? <laughs> you can't even get past the fucking tutorial. I thought this game was going to be easy. No. <laughs> what do I do? I actually don't get it either gonna have to like call it here and this will be the whole episode it'll be the uh game grumps moment where you can't fucking figure what out the fuck can't figure out what to do because i can't are you just mashing I buttons can't. <laughs> I can't. I just google that shit you have a you have a cell phone i'm just gonna hit buttons until something happens it's probably gonna be a really easy solution once you figure it out you just have to activate the same shot you have equipped. Come on, level up the charge shot. <laughs> Do it. Come on. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna Google how to level up a charge shot right now. Please. You're falling apart mentally. Please. This is really bad. Yeah, it is. If I just hit buttons on my keyboard instead of the controller, maybe something will happen. There you go. By activating the same saw you have equipped. I mean, it doesn't sound hard. You just gotta activate the one you have equipped. I don't have one equipped. I don't think. Is it showing the one you have equipped in the little thing underneath that your health bar? I don't think so you see the flowers things that are changing are those your guns or whatever that's my item does it just want me to like le is it broken is something here not going correctly <laughs> <laughs> i'm about to watch a let's play on of this on youtube what does it want me to do <laughs> this is fucking amazing <laughs> you just can't do it i can't I can't do it. Ah, uh, this is so sad. This is gonna make a really good beginning for the episode, just like a super cut of you losing your mind. <laughs> oh. You don't understand the glee that this is giving me right now. None at all. I'm, I would imagine this I'm is actually a, smiling. I would imagine this is really annoying. No, this is actually funny. <laughs> oh. I find it funny. Are you, yeah, are you able to just not play the fucking tutorial? Is that, is that allowed? Can I quit? Yes. Are you telling me that, okay, how did you pass the tutorial of this game in the fucking first place? The other character controls differently. 
<laughs> well then don't play this character. I think it's letting me skip the tutorial this time. Thank fuck. Oh my god, I get to play the game! <laughs> Thank fuck, holy shit. Best intro to an episode we've ever had. Now we can finally fucking begin our lives. After that extremely stressful experience. But the only real victory is gonna come if you actually figure out how to fucking activate the shot you have equipped, you know? That's never gonna happen. Jesus you know, fucking Christ. One time I actually, I was lucky enough to have dinner um, with Jay-Z, you no, know, like you Beyonce's husband. And he, I asked him for some business advice because he's like, he's quite a mogul, you know? And he said like, all you have to do basically is just um, like how, like you gotta get a Roth IRA and start contributing a little bit of your income. And then you gotta activate the shot that you have equipped and you're basically set. That's residual income, so. You absolute goon. I can't <laughs> take it back. I don't like when it like yells at me to do it to the rhythm. I don't wanna fuck off. Like look at how you well I'm do it doing. to the rhythm. Yeah, you, I, I can no tell you've got a lot of really good rhythm. Yeah, cause like no, like I'm not doing well, I'm doing horribly on the rhythm part. You can see the bars in the center of the little fucking battle grid. The beat you're supposed to be going to. Yeah. Oh. You can't play know. this rhythm game because it doesn't have sea shanties in it. Yeah. It's your favorite genre. You know, my favorite genre is evil disco. Evil disco? What does that mean? Not, not the normal kind of disco, the evil kind. Ugh. Which actually is a real thing, by the way. You can Google it. I don't know. I'm exhausted. Everybody type evil disco into Bing right now. <laughs> <laughs> See what comes up. Oh, what's that one song where it's all like... Uh, uh, where it's like, Push it! You got to push it! No, it's the one where like uh, everybody was frightening. The dance floor was lightning, electro. Okay, I do know what you're talking about, but I almost I don't want to tell you what song it is because I don't know if you deserve to know, and it's funnier that you don't. And then it's go, and then it goes like everybody was kung fu fighting. I think. Okay, you you got it. That is the song. Is it? Everybody was kung fu fighting. No, you're lying to me. Those cats were fast as lightning. Stop. And it was a little bit frightening. This is absolutely the most frightening. <laughs> that was good, right? That was actually very good. Thank you. I've been practicing for years. <laughs> I've, I've spent like every last little bit of my mental health on that fucking tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> it really didn't take much to throw you into a spiral. <laughs> yeah, my mental, like, well-being is on, like, a string. You have, like, a very small amount of shielding around your sanity. Like, it takes very little to rattle you to the point of psychosis. Alright, who is your favorite Toho girl? Yeah, who is your favorite <laughs> Toho girl? Um, my favorite oh, Toho girl... Is probably the one. Honestly, that's tough because there's a lot of good ones to choose from. You don't know any of them. My favorite Toho girl is probably the one that like um, Ooh. like fights against like a like an evil gang to like save like the ele elephants of Thailand. You know. Is that one? I honestly don't know. Why would you believe me about that for even half a second? There's so many Toho girls! It's possible! It actually is possible, though. What is your favorite Toho Iosis video, then? And you're not allowed to say Cyrano's perfect math class, because that's the one literally everybody's seen. I do not know what that is, and you sound like such a fucking weeaboo right now. Yes, you fucking do. Fucking take two minutes to, like, look it up real quick. And you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that one. Okay, here's the thing. Um, I thought you didn't even like play Toho games or like know anything about it, but now you're talking about all these Toho memes. What do you, 
go on 4chan and browse the Toho board. Ow. Okay, I'm putting in Toho Cerno math class. Yeah. I am doing so fucking bad right now. Okay, everybody witness as a, a well-adjusted heterosexual adult male is exposed to evil queer propaganda live on stream. Okay, so you told me that I would know what this was and that it would be, like, familiar to me. You were wrong. Literally everybody and their fucking grandma knows Zero that it was perfect math class. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. If my grandma ever uttered the phrase Toho, or if she, like, brought it up in any capacity, I would commit suicide on the spot. Like, I would go into the kitchen and kill myself. Because at that point, I would know that, like, hell was real. And there was no point on trying to, like, live on this mortal coil. I did it! My question is, why the fuck is it, like, are there so many little tiny girls running around? Like, where are their parents? Where are the adults? Where are the grown men in this world? Like, it's just a bunch of tiny little children in maid outfits running around a fairy land. And what are they trying to accomplish anyway? Like, what the fuck do they live for? They're just flying around shooting stuff. Like, it, like it's their job. That's a very good question. Where are all the Toho men? Where are the Toho boys? This is gonna take, like, all of my concentration, especially when I need, like, move sideways or diagonally. Yeah, those directions just take more brain power. It's kind of like how in Fatal Fury, uh, in the old games, you had to be able to switch lanes because there were, like, three lanes, which is a really stupid fucking fighting game mechanic. It takes all your brain power to think in three dimensions in a fighting game, you know? Yeah, but this one requires two button presses to move, in, like, diagonally. Fucking buttons do you press to move diagonal? Well... The D-pad on this controller is really loose and slippery, so I set, like, the movement keys to the face buttons. So, like... What the fuck? I know. What the fuck, dude? I know. That way, like, before it was because I was, like, moving, like, directions I didn't want to go, so I figured it'd just be better to use the face buttons to move. No, at that point, it's better to use the keyboard and play it like a normal rhythm game player. Yeah, but the S key is... Like, sad what's in between the A and D key, and then W is at the top. That doesn't, like, make it good. Are you trying to fucking critique WASD right now? For rhythm games, yes. Go to hell. No. <laughs> it's the superior fucking directional format. Because you have three directions underneath your primary fingers, and then W is directly above your middle finger. It's the perfect control scheme. It's perfect Are for- you bananas? It's perfect for everything except rhythm games, because I have weak-ass fucking fingers. I know you have weak fingers. Definitely that is true. But I don't see how face buttons is easier than that. That's just me, though. Well, my right hand is stronger than my left hand. I guess. Are you sure none of the pamulets inside are yours? The pamulets? <laughs> it says PM, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is a P-amulet? Better yet, what the fuck is a pamulet? Are you sure none of the pamulets inside are yours? <laughs> Have you realized your dream of being a Toho actor? Finally, I get to voice act in my favorite anime. I is to... Toho an anime? Like, what is I... it? It's... Okay, the way I understand it is it is a selection of character designs made by some, like, 80-year-old dude who made <laughs> some, like, DOS games. But then he was all like, yo, these character designs are free to use for whatever you want. So people are all like... Fuck yeah, I am gonna, like, take all the Toho girls I could ever want and do whatever I want with them. So but literally like, nothing uh, unites all the properties of this fucking franchise, other I, than the fact that, like, a bunch of weird old creepy motherfuckers <laughs> like the way that the girls look? <laughs> yeah. Like, there's official Toho games, but I think there's a large majority, like, the large majority of them, like, this one, are unofficial. But, oh, this is unofficial. So how do they... Oh, but they don't get in legal trouble because they're, like, free characters? Yeah. Like, if you wanted, I believe that you could go out and make a Toho, like, album or, like, merchandise and sell it. Oh, and, God. 
You know, that's actually kind of awesome, though. Like, how many franchises are there where fans can legally make and sell content with the characters? Like, that's kind of rules. I think more series should do that. You just gotta feel the beat. I honestly can't. I think I might be beatly impaired. <laughs> beatly impaired. Okay, you that's do hate sense. the Beatles. I hate the Beatles more than anything. Their music is so fucking bad. I think that's so odd. You know, how you can truly hate something so, like, just like milk toast. Because, like, the Beatles' music is, like, very, like, mainstream. Oh, you know what I'm saying? A fucking bomb? But no, the Beatle music is, like, actually painful. Something about it, like, just triggers something deep inside of my brain that causes me immense pain. That's crazy. And it's true. Like, she's not lying, guys. Like, one time I literally put on a Beatles song in my home, and she, like, practically turned into an abusive spouse. You know, it was terrifying. It was, it was like, a domestic moment of e evil. Like, it's something about the way they structure their music. It's just, like, it wiggles in my brain, like, folds wrong. <laughs> like, it causes me actual sensory issues, which is not something I get with anything other than the Beatles. I think that's incredible. And it just is such a powerful tool. Like, if I ever just wanted to completely destroy your brain, I would just have to put on some incredibly polite... Um, young fellows from Liverpool. I feel like out of all the Toho music, like Clown Pieces theme is probably by far the best, but specifically the like, uh, 70 billion kilometers one. Fuck. You only fucking think that because anything that gets a fucking clown related aesthetic slapped onto it, you just eat it up like fucking slop. Like, you just. You just. <laughs> You fucking, that you is, could take the Beatles and put fucking clown makeup on him and you'd fucking listen to the Beatles and you'd that, fucking that like That is not it. true. You could replace all their fucking guitars with little honky horns, honky nose horns, and you'd fucking love the Beatles. Okay, if that were true, why do I think the insane clown posse is cringe? Because you're fucking, you're cringe, motherfucker. Drink some Fanta. <laughs> it's not Fanta. It's fucking Fago. Fago is the official it's fucking really drink. Of, I just read on the internet. It said it's the official drink of juggalos and juggalettes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to ask you: Would you consider yourself a juggalette? And do you feel that that term applies to you? Absolutely Are you a juggalette? not, dear fucking god, no. How could you not be a juggalette? You love all things clown and jester related. That is for some not reason. true. Yeah, you do. Only some things, but it tastes at least, like, semi-lean in that direction. No, it's massive. They, they lean in that direction heavily. Your fucking whole OC is a goddamn clown. You were born to be a clown. You were born with a natural inclination towards all things that imply clowndom. I think this song, it said it was called Clown Pieces Most Hectic Day Ever or something. Which is a really funny, like, translated feeling title. Because who the fuck says hectic? I don't know, I like the word hectic, it's pretty good. I do too, but in a song title it feels very um, English translation-ish. I mean, like, who's making Toho music except for, like, old, sad weeaboos? Yeah, this is like that weird, like, genre of, like, f literally, like, 45-year-old weebs who have been in this lifestyle for so fucking long. And dug so deep. Like, Toho is fucking old as time. Wow. It says that the original studio is one person who fucking makes Toho. Yeah. It's... And he made fucking 18 games. It says that the Japanese folklore characters are personified as Bishojo in an anthropomorphic moe style. I bet you know exactly what that means. Um, you weeaboo. Bisos Joe is like the beautiful girl. These girls are not beautiful. They're strange looking. Moe is like when your character is like squishy cute. And then I forget what the rest of what you said was. They're kind of cute where you just want to put them in a blender.
like a hamster or like a jellyfish. <laughs> jellyfish are not that cute. It's the type of like cute that you would see as like a squish mallow. Interesting. One time, uh, like someone called the store that I work at on the phone, and like they were like clearly a child, which is weird to hear over the <laughs> phone, especially since I work in a liquor store. Did they ask for and... the Fortnite beer? No, they asked, "Hey, do you guys have any Squishmallows?" I saw <laughs> you have them on Google. Like they were like, yeah, "Um, hey, uh, um, excuse me, um, do uh, do you guys sell any um of the Squishmallows?" I saw that um, maybe you had them on Google, and I just had to be like. I like at the time I didn't know what those were like genuinely I was so fucking confused so I was like what is that is that like a little toy and we do sell like some little like rubber animals and stuff um so I just had to disappoint this child it was so fucking weird it, apparently the first fucking game in, was called highly responsive to prayers <laughs> in the co-host series which is like what the fuck and it came out in 1997. I don't think that this game is responsive to prayers at all. <laughs> if it was, we would have beaten the tutorial. Because <laughs> they're like the fucking Sinto gods or whatever from like shrines and whatnot. Like there's spirits and yokai. What the fuck is up with every single fucking Japanese property either being based on Japanese mythology or adapting something that is not anime girls into anime girls? Like, it's always either, like, Pokemon, where it's, like, basically just straight-up Japanese folklore, or it's, like, turning, like, ships and tanks or, like, fucking, <laughs> like, retail refrigerator brands into waifus. Like, what the fuck is that? I don't know. I guess that's just what makes money. Or that's what's popular. Old people like their fucking nationalism. Young people like their hot boys. Girls, fucking, whatever. I, I just, just, it's so deeply weird oh. to me the need to make something into anime girls to make it be able to be a consumer product. Like, it's so fucking prevalent. I mean, look at Hitalia. That's incredibly popular right now. Ex is it popular now or was it popular <laughs> in the early 2000s? <laughs> the early 2000s. I am glad Hitalia has, like, stopped existing for a while. Yeah, I haven't heard someone bring that shit up in months until you just said it. You think, like, the Ukraine-Russia oh, like Russia conflict would, like, bring that up oh, more because, God. like, Ukraine and Russia were, like, uh, they had a relationship in Hidalia. Please do not fucking put that into my mind. Because now I just know deep in my heart that somewhere on the obscure corners of the internet, somebody has made, like, fucking Ukraine-Russia fan art in the fucking... Hetalia style. The other day, while like looking for cringe videos, there's a video of somebody <laughs> cosplaying as Ukraine from like 2007, asking people to like dress up as Hetalia characters and wave the flags. Hi, everybody! Ukraine here. I like how you just casually drop the sentence. While I was looking for cringe videos the other day, <laughs> like it's your full-time occupation. It may as well be. God, every time it Damn, explodes that like that, explosion. it really startles me. <laughs> Jump scare. Scarier like, than Five Nights at Freddy's. Unironically, I don't get jump scared by jump scares, but I do get jump scared by, like, just cloud clangs and shit. noises. Like, I think the most I've ever been jump scared in a game was, like, when we were playing Voidigo, and it was, like, every time when the boss appeared on screen. Oh, God. I will that, say the bosses are scary in Voidigo. Yeah, and just like big piles of red circles like those moons are doing. Those are like trigger my fucking like whatever. You have like insect senses. Yeah. You're just like detecting the colors what? and like it's activating your fight or flight reflex. Like every, like literally every time I'm catching my- <laughs> Like, literally every <laughs> time I'm catching myself, like, going, oh, or, like, bracing myself. You can't even focus. It's like it's a real explosive. Like, somebody threw an actual grenade into my vicinity, and I have to, like, take cover immediately. Oh. <laughs> if you don't beat this boss, 
blue-haired liberal Light Yagami is gonna write your name in the cancel note, and you'll be cancelled. I hope he does. I'm ready to end this suffering. No. I can't say to L that I like PewDiePie, or else he'll think that I'm a soy boy mainstream cuck who if, likes racist YouTubers. But I'm you progressive and I believe in praxis. I read theory. However, if I come on too strong and I reveal my true knowledge of Marxism, then L will know that I have the cancel note. And that's what Death Note is like. I, yeah. I've seen the live action movie, but not the anime. Fuck you. What the hell? <laughs> what? It's psychotic. I've seen like five minutes of the live action movie, and it was really, really funny. But, um,. No, the anime is fucking amazing. Come on. You gotta watch that shit. God, Classic. I thought I was supposed to be the weeaboo. It's not weeaboo to like Death Note. It's like, you know how some animes are just mainstream, you know? Like, if you're Mexican and you don't watch Dragon Ball Z, like, <laughs> you're not even patriotic. So, you know, it's like... Did you know that you... the Takarita del Goku updates the portrait of Goku for whatever, like, the newest Saiyan form is? <laughs> Wait, that is it still that restaurant is open still and it's actually called the Takaria del Goku? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. I didn't know that. That's so awesome. They're up to like fucking ultra instinct Takarias now. <laughs> if you had the death note, how would you write my name in it? How would I write your name in it? <laughs> yeah. Probably with a fucking number two pencil. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean like how would you kill me? Oh, you mean, like, what would I write your cause of death to be? <laughs> yeah, what- no, what color ink pen would you use? Like, black or dark blue? I would use one of those ones, uh, that, te like, nine-year-old girls would have in elementary school, where, like, it has, like, 20 different, like, pens in it, and you can, like, push them all out at once, or you can, like, choose the colors individually and switch them while you're writing. Yeah. I would do that, so, like, each letter would be a different color. That's cute. And for your cause of death, I would probably try to write something really funny, like aliens come and snatch you through your window. <laughs> <laughs> that is so goddamn mean. <laughs> yeah, I want you to be afraid when you die. <laughs> Dude, that would be so fucking traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> or I would try to write some shit like like that would like be an ironic death like you'd finally be paying for your sins like I would try to like find something that you do that I like dislike or disagree with and cause it to be the cause of your death like what's, hmm, what's a good example of like a habit of yours that I like despise oh yeah okay here's a good one the way that you walk you like fucking stomp your heels on the ground well, like your arms just like swing at your side, so your steps are like uncharacteristically that is a heavy. That is a lot. How small you are! Shut the fuck up! So I, I just don't do like, that. I want one day. I want the floor <laughs> of your bedroom to like collapse under you and you fall through the ceiling and fucking die. <laughs> don't do that. Are you confusing <laughs> me with someone else? You sound so mad right now. I don't do that. <laughs> I can just make up bullshit. It doesn't have to be true. You can't just make something up like that on the spot. It sounds so real. <laughs> that's that's so great about it, though. I do I do that? I don't even know anymore. I don't know. I made it up too. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, the best, most ironic death for you would be to, like, be eaten by a pack of chihuahuas or something. <laughs> eaten by a garbage girl? What? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you are a garbage girl. But no, I said eaten by a pack of chihuahuas. Oh, I thought you said, like, eaten by a goth girl or some shit. No, that would be, like, your dream come true. Come on. I, to be cannibalized by goth girls. Yeah. That would be pretty sick. <laughs> pretty good way to die, yeah. Can't lie. If anybody would like to be cannibalized by a goth girl, please leave a comment on this video, as well as their full name Comment down address. below. 
comment and subscribe and like and hit the bell <laughs> so that we can eat you to death. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody like, comment, and subscribe. Not for the algorithm, but so that we can feast upon the nutrients of your body. So we know who to target. Pant pant, says Clown P. <laughs> well. Pamulet pamulet, says Clown P. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. This game is hard. I'm gonna cry. The uh, character that you're playing as says, You were going so fast. My eyes were spinning like a laundromat, like I just hit some perkies. I'm fucked up on the crib on some Dr. Per Perky right now. Whew. This song sucks. Clown Piece usually yeah, gets the song. good music, but this sucks. It's too, um, Rasta, as you called it. And you're not a real Rasta, so you would know. I don't know you music don't genres, Redmond. it's difficult. Shut up. You don't know- you don't know music genres, you said? You don't know the genres? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you, how would you classify the genre of this song? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I don't like how this character's legs are just like- they're like blobs, but they have like a little line of like toe separation. That's fucking disgusting. Like the art should either choose between having it be fucking just blobs or actual legs, and they couldn't choose, so it's like a fucking blob with toes, and that's horrifying. So he has I big hate feet. That. Little pig Yeah, legs. exactly. It's fucking horrible. I also don't like how clown pieces like patriotic America. Like, just yeah. covered in the American fucking flag. She's the star-spangled Puritan. What are you saying? And also, like, why the fuck is this fictional Japan land have an America character? Like, is America that badass that we exist in <laughs> fictional Japanese folklore, too, as a clown girl? Yeah, she's got blue eyes, blonde hair. Wait a minute, is fucking clown piece associated with the moon because America went to the moon? Maybe? Oh my fucking god, Holy probably. Fuck. <laughs> That's so funny to me. What the fuck? America's fucking conquering of the moon is so incredibly powerful that now even the fucking yokai and anime girls know about it. Yeah. America's the greatest fucking country in the world. Fuck every other country. <laughs>